something. It's the hottest thing, and it's on its way to the top. Step up front, you dig? Get down with the bus stop. I basically like the fact that you can um, just kind of go anywhere and uh, you're not really restricted to, uh, to being in the studio uh, just to do your thing. You can literally go anywhere. I can stretch the beach. I think what drives people to portableism is that um, there's a sense of innocence and, um, and curiosity that excitement that you had when you first started DJing, wanting to learn and wanting to progress. At the time, like I was so really into just like a full setup, just not really open-minded to the idea of using um, like portable turntables to, to jam or like do this. I remember growing up in Vancouver and just like every other hip-hop DJ telling me that no other turntables matter other than the Tectix 1200, but I mean, you can thrash on a PT-01, you can thrash on a Handytrax or anything else. Well, how does an ordinary record player work? What do you need? I think one of the cool factors about this whole portable thing is that you don't really need that much money to start scratching. Also, the fact that you can go cut it up fresh anywhere, that's pretty cool. So if you're going to do this at home, what do you need? To start, you just need a portable turntable, $100. Portable fader, $60. Some cords, $5 to $10. Portable speaker, $50 to $100. And some 7 inches, $50 to $20. And that's a grand total of about $300. Okay, now begin. I think that... It's not a fad, it's just gonna stick around as being another form of turntablism, like where it came from. I think that portable faders and portable turntables really, um, really did give a breath of fresh air to um, cutting and turntablism in general. If somebody were to ask me today, uh, if they could start out with a portable turntable to learn how to scratch, I would say yes, absolutely. Um, you know, should it be the only way you should scratch? No, I don't think so. I think it's more like you should you should learn to do both, but really like I, I have friends from work who know nothing about turntables at all. And they, they saw me bring my portable into work and um, one of the guys actually just, he went and bought a uh, Raiden fader and he bought like a, a Newmark PT-01. And now he's just learning cuts. He's just asking me all the time. And now he wants to um, grow with the portable turntable. But then he also was talking about getting a traditional setup, which is dope. So it's kind of like it gives people the opportunity to try something out and and not be like, oh, well, I'm $2,000 in the drain right now. You know, uh, I got this set up for 300 bucks kind of thing. Just like you look anywhere online and put like the hashtag portableist or uh, Raiden Fader and it's like pockets all over the world like you see like heads shredding in Sri Lanka you see heads shredding in Korea heads in Madrid just thrashing all over the place so it's it's cool that um, this whole portableist thing has um, kind of brought all the heads together that that enjoy or love this culture for turntablism. A chance to learn the give and take of working and playing together. Not much arranging needed, not much expense. Seeing the overwhelming support and responses from our articles and reviews on this culture, we thought of holding our own online scratch battle with using only portable turntables and portable faders. We had over 60 entries from DJs around the world and thought this was a great platform for portable scratch DJs. And with the support from Raiden Fader and known tableist judging, we coined it Wild Cuts. Very 
really weird. So what do you think of uh, what you're doing there? What's that? Good, good, good. What do you like about it? <sighs> I don't know. Do you like scratching? Duh, yeah. <laughs> Duh, yeah. So Kaylin, what do you what are you scratching there with? Turntable. A turntable. Okay. What do you what do you call this? Record. A record, eh? And then what's this? Fader. Fader, yeah. This is probably the biggest one. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Do you like it? Yep. I like the function. I like the stuff. I like the function. I like the I like the feeling of it. I love the reaction that we get from scratching in public. For most of them, this is the first time hearing it or even seeing it. And most of them are curious, asking us questions and wanting to learn more about what we were doing. And these sessions are not just to expose the portable culture, but for scratching in general. I don't know, it, it's just it's just fun to us and we're not trying to change the culture of turntablism but help further scratching to the masses, igniting inspiration whenever and wherever. Do we need to convey about like what other stories? <sighs> I feel like we're missing something. We talk about like how I first hated on this shit. <laughs>